Hey guys, Zach from Say What Zach here. So, NHL games are over for the night. Let's get into the review for Friday, January 10th. I have three games on, so not a lot of hockey. Tomorrow's going to be a fun one. And we will be doing a guest appearance of uh, Drunk Hockey Bomb. She will be joining us for the American League and National League reviews the whole night, the whole nine yards. She will be there. So, that's something to look forward to tomorrow, but let's talk about tonight. Your three games. Your first one. Carolina going in and beating the Arizona Coyotes, 3 to nothing. Uh, big loss for Arizona. It's two games in a row now. They've been shut out. Anti Ranta came back tonight, and he uh, couldn't win a game for him, couldn't steal one. The Carolina Hurricanes get two big points, and Arizona is struggling to score right now. That's not good for them. They can't rely on getting one or no goals a game. That's just that's not gonna that's not gonna do it. Scoring plays. Uh, Warren Fogel scores his tenth. Uh, 1420 of the first from Sinechnikov and Gardner. Then Walmart scores his 10th. It's a lot of 10 markers. Some people hit 10 goals tonight for Carolina. Uh, 1847 the second from Hamilton and Slavin. And then Necha scores his 10th. So all of them score their 10th at 1950 of the second from Dezingle and Halla. There are your three goals. 3 0 for Arizona for Carolina. Big win. Primorazic gets a shutout. Big in game for him. Their shots on goal, 29 to 32 for Arizona. So Arizona, again, has more shots. Barely. Doesn't matter. They don't get one in. Doesn't matter how many shots. You can get 50 or 60. Doesn't matter. If you can't get one in, doesn't matter. So yeah, your winner is Carolina in that one. Second game of the night, the Red Wings versus Ottawa. The one game everybody is super excited about because it's really important. I'm just kidding. Nobody cares. Even as a Red Wings fan, I was like, uh, I would like to see who scores. Maybe maybe see Zena get some points. That's about it. Anyways, your score was 3-2 to two in a shootout win for Detroit. So Detroit is on a two-game winning streak. Two games. And if you live in the Detroit area, you get a free 10-piece Timbit with any free coffee tomorrow because the Red Wings won. They give out free stuff because they know the Red Wings aren't going to win, so they rarely have to give out free things. Anyways, it's coin plays. Bertuzzi scores the 16th of the season at 14.55 the first from Hironic and Fabry, who are having awesome years. Hironic is probably our best defenseman right now. And Rabbi Fabry, again, having an awesome year with the Red Wings. Uh, definitely enjoying that trade from St. Louis. And Bertuzzi going to the all-star game. I think he definitely deserves it. Larkin scores his 11th at 5.32 of the second from Hironic and Bertuzzi. So Hironic and Bertuzzi both two points tonight. Pretty good night for a team that doesn't score much. Then uh, Brady Kachuk scores his 14th at 5.54 of the second from Colin White. And then White scores his 4th at 10.42 of the second period from Riley and Ennis to make it 2-2. No scoring in the third period. No scoring in overtime. They go to the shootout. Larkin gets the only goal in the shootout to win it 3-2. to two. Shots on goal would be 31-28 to 28 in favor of the Ottawa Senators. So, again, just nearly edging out the Red Wings in shots. Doesn't matter because Red Wings beat them. Your three stars. Oh, sorry. Your three stars the first game I didn't say. It was Morazic, Neches, and Walmark. This game, Larkin, White, and Bertuzzi are your three stars. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So, those are your two, early, uh, I guess, earlier games. And the last game of the night was Pittsburgh and Colorado Avalanche. So, again, big game for both of these teams. Uh, Pittsburgh, again, just chugging along. Just chugging along with all these injuries still. No Crosby still, no nothing. And it's getting scoring depth. It's amazing. It's just it's amazing the run they've been on. Colorado, struggling. Hands down struggling right now. Uh, I think they've only got one point in the last three games or something like that. It's, yeah, it's not good. Your, uh, your score was 4-3 to three in overtime for Pittsburgh. The Colorado Avalanche scored in the last uh, minute of the game. To tie it, go to overtime, and then Pittsburgh goes away and wins it. So, yeah, again, Pittsburgh just plugging away at these points. Your scoring plays, Nathan McKinnon scores his 27th at 1438 of the first from Gerard and Landeskog. Uh, then you got Bluger for the Pittsburgh Penguins scoring his 6th at uh, 1329 of the second period from Cahoon and Marino, which I, I don't even know Marino. It's a name, again, I don't know too much about, but, yeah, he, he puts up some points tonight. Has 1-1 one, one now for uh, the game. Landis Gog scores his 11th of the season at 18-20 the second from Gerard. So Gerard has two points. Landis Gog has two points. They had a good night so far. 2-1 to one for uh, Colorado at that point. Rust gets his 18th. He is on pace for, what, 30 goals, something like that right now? Yeah, big, big year for Rust, especially with all the players being injured. He's definitely one of the ones who steps up. Uh, he gets his 18th at 1-14 of the third period from Malkin and Cahoon, making it 2-2. Two and then Malkin gets his 13th of the season at 15.43 of the third from Cahoon and Russ. So Russ gets a goal and assist. Cahoon has, I, mean, I lost track, what, three assists now in this game? Pretty big night for him as well. 
Uh, so that's now three to two for the Penguins. Uh, and then you get Matt Calvert scoring his 11th for the Avalanche at 1929. Again, last minute of the third period. Scores it and makes a good overtime from Kale McCarr and Burakovsky. And that would go again overtime. And it doesn't matter because Pittsburgh is unstoppable right now. They are gathering points in every way, shape, and form. You get uh, McCann scoring his 12th at 319 of the overtime from Bluger and Marino. So again, Bluger and Marino both getting two, uh, two assists, or sorry, getting two points tonight. So again, big night for all the whole team. This, this Pittsburgh team is scoring by committee in every way, shape, and form. There was no stars of the game yet posted when I'm re as of this recording. So no stars of the game for this one, unfortunately, for you guys. Your shots on goal were 30 to 31 in favor of Colorado. So again, barely edging them out in points. Doesn't matter. And those are your rundown for the National Hockey League scores tonight. Now, your updated standings, obviously not a whole lot changed with only three games. Um, I'm just going to go over the ones who won. So Conro gets the point, moves within, uh, stays at three points out of uh, Winnipeg, one point behind Dallas right now for second in the Central. Pittsburgh moves two points ahead of New York Islanders, dropping them to third in the division and pulling slightly closer to the Washington Capitals. We'll see if that makes a difference. And then your bottom tier teams, Detroit gets another two points. Hey, if they keep this pace up, they might almost be able to catch Ottawa Senators for, or New Jersey for being second to dead last. I'm kidding. We're not going to. They're 10 points back of the New Jersey Devils right now. It's it's sad. Good for them to get a two-game winning streak right now, but you're 10 points back of the second worst team. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. But anyways, those are kind of your updated standings. I'm not going to go through all of them. That'll be a tomorrow video when there's a lot of games on, when there's three. Especially one of them has nothing to do with the standings, really. I'm not going to go over all of them for you. You guys can see it. You guys can read it. Anyways, that's your National Hockey League standings and scores for January 10th, which is a Friday. We have the American Hockey League stuff going on right here. We have two more games left, and then that video will get posted. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, give us a like and a subscribe. This is Zach from Say What's Zach, and I will talk to you guys again. So I'm getting stared at by Kitty Commentary. It's just staring at me like I like I've screwed up. I don't know. Okay, no, she just wants to stare with a dead stare at me. Anyways, this is Zach from Say What's Zach here. I will talk to you guys again after the games.